I came across a poor stranger teaching my daughter how to ride a bike at the park. Meeting the man made me realize certain things about my rich husband, so I went straight to him and told him what he never imagined would come out of my mouth. I had always wanted to have children, but while my husband James and I kept trying, we discovered through our doctors that we could not conceive naturally. At first, James was okay with not having children. However, when he saw how much not having children affected me emotionally, he reluctantly agreed to adopt a child with me. After a couple of visits to several orphanages, we came across a little girl named Maya, whom I immediately fell in love with. We adopted Maya when she was only a year old, and now she's a lovely 10-year-old girl who enjoys the little things in life. Through the years, Maya was a lot closer to me than she was to James. James had always kept a distance and had no interest in playing with Maya. Although I tried to talk to him about it several times, he always said, that's just how I am. When Maya was seven, she discovered through James that she was adopted. He was angry after she knocked over a few of his favorite collectible action figures and accidentally blurted out the fact that she was adopted. Maya was in tears and immediately asked me if what her dad said was true. Yes, Maya, but that doesn't change anything, I told her. You are an angel sent from heaven. You are my daughter, and I love you dearly. At first, Maya did not know what to do. However, she slowly accepted the truth because she said she loved me very much. Meanwhile, Maya kept a safe distance from James since then. He had always been cold towards her but he started to express his anger and dismay even more since that incident. Mom, did dad not want to adopt me? Maya asked me one day. Her question broke my heart because she had always longed for a father's love. He did, sweetheart, I assured her. I'm sorry that dad isn't always present. He is just very busy with work. That's why he is always stressed. But the truth was, James didn't want to be a father and I realized that too late. After a couple of months, I noticed that Maya would come home happier and later than usual after an afternoon at the park with friends. I thought nothing of this, thinking she was starting to gain more friends in the neighborhood. Being the curious mom I am, I wanted to find out what made Maya happy. I decided to follow her from school one day, only to see her playing with a stranger. The man she was playing with looked poor, but he also looked very sincere playing with her. I watched the man teach Maya how to ride her new bicycle as if he were her father. All of it was a sweet sight. I immediately realized that this man could have been a predator taking advantage of Maya. I ran towards them, demanding, Maya, who is this man? Maya was shocked to see me at the park, and so was the man. However, seeing my fear, the man took a step back and immediately apologized. I'm sorry, he quickly replied. I don't mean any trouble, really. Who are you? I repeated. The man reluctantly looked at Maya and asked if he could speak to me privately. May we speak adult to adult? He asked. I was curious to hear what he had to say, so I agreed. We walked towards the neighborhood cafe, where I asked Maya to stay at a table across from where the man and I sat. What is it that you have to say? I asked him. I'm Michael Moore. The man introduced himself. When I was in my early 20s, I married a woman named Linda. Then I found out she was cheating on me, so I filed for divorce and tried to get custody of my daughter, Maya. I flinched when he said that, but I stayed silent and allowed him to continue. However, they denied my request because I had no money. I worked hard to gain custody of her, but it was too late. Linda had put her up for adoption. I was devastated, Michael admitted. He also revealed that he didn't have much because he had spent all his money on a private investigator. I wanted to see my daughter grow up, even from afar, he admitted. The private investigator was able to find out about you, and since then, I've been keeping an eye on Maya. I couldn't help but feel bad for Michael because I could feel his sincerity. All he wanted was to be in his daughter's life. Maya also longed for a father figure in her life so I could not blame her for having a soft spot for Michael. James never paid attention to Maya, so I realized that having Michael in her life could be good for her. Thank you for being honest with me, I told Michael. I know you mean well, but my top priority is ensuring my daughter is safe. Would you be open to doing a DNA test? I asked him. 
Michael instantly agreed and proceeded to pull some strands of hair out, which he wrapped in tissue. He handed it to me with one condition. Please don't tell Maya that I'm her dad just yet. I want to be able to explain it to her properly. At that moment, I couldn't help but compare how different Michael was from my husband. I look at Maya, who was innocently eating a plate of pasta alone. How can anyone not love this sweet child? I realized I had been making excuses for my selfish husband all these years. I gave his toxic traits a free pass simply because I wanted to keep the peace at home when I should have stood up for Maya and myself all along. When I got home that night, I decided to confront James. Maya's not getting any younger. She wants to have her dad in her life, you know, I told him. She's not my daughter, he muttered. How could you say that? I said, raising my voice. She's your daughter. Making her a part of our family was a mutual decision. She's not my daughter. I agree because I knew how much you wanted a child. But as she grew up, I realized I couldn't look at her like my own. I just key aunt. My heart sank upon hearing this. Did I marry a heartless monster? I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. Well, if that's the case, I don't think this marriage should last any longer. Knowing you don't accept her, what will life be like for Maya and me? We're better off separating, I told him, trying to stop myself from crying. Okay, go ahead and file for divorce. You won't get a single cent from me, James threatened. Let's see you raise that child alone. I'll wait and see how long it takes you to come right back to me. Since that painful conversation, I knew there was no turning back. I was determined to give Maya a better life, even if it meant having to do it alone. However, I couldn't deny my attraction to Michael after a while. While he was not wealthy, he was determined, hardworking, and sincere. He loved Maya dearly, and he was kind and caring toward me. Eventually, Michael and I told Maya the truth about him being her biological father. She was delighted and couldn't help but thank God that for once in her life, she felt loved by both her parents.